But hey there folks, welcome back to this Farming Simulator 22 series here on Elk Mountain. You notice they're right behind me. They have some barricades in front of the feed store. We'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, but what has happened since the last time we were together? Actually, so much has happened. Oh, where do I begin? Uh, well, Gage was there helping me with the uh, straw belly and we got that finished we got this field cultivated and rolled and all the stones picked up we ended up with a small pile of stones not a whole lot you see them right over here behind the baler so I just left them here I didn't know where else to put them at this moment so we'll just leave them there for the time being uh, Gage actually left his tractor and baler down here at the farm he didn't want to uh, drive it back he lives a little ways away so he thought uh, just leaving the tractor here since he knew that we were going to uh, do some more bailing here very soon uh, so I gave him a ride back to his house and so we have that there so you see I do have a new cedar I ended up going down to the shop and buying a cedar they did not have anything for rent and uh, this is about the only thing I could get. Uh, they did have bigger cedars, but nothing that I could use, that I could pull. So we went with this one. Uh, I think it's going to work out pretty good. It's quite a bit bigger than the one I previously had. So that's good. It does fertilizing along with the seeding. So that is good as well, too. So think we'll be happy with this one uh, hopefully the capacity on it is good enough to get us most of the way around this field hopefully it will uh, the only problem is I ended up having to dip into the line of credit that I had so I had to take a about 20,000 back out of the line of credit so we're still under the uh, limitation that the bank has on us you notice there's no bales around the field so while Gage was here we had some time and he ended up helping me load these bales so uh, I just I still owe him for the uh, the bales there and, and doing the work uh, I did pay him a little bit for helping me out that day uh, but I do need to get him some money uh, we ended up making about fifteen thousand seven hundred uh, right right around that on the bales so I owe him about $3,100 or so that's his 20% cut and I'm glad to do it he was a great help and I don't think I could have rented a baler and I done the work with uh, fuel and everything on for any cheaper so uh, that worked out really well both of us benefited from that deal so what has happened where do I begin well, so we got that done, and then I went on into town and met with the sheriff. I let him know what Gage told me about Cliff, and kind of gave him all the information, left it up to him, just told him I didn't, didn't care to press charges, but I just wanted to pass that information along uh, just to make sure that nobody else got hurt and also to close out the case so that he was not still investigating well he went down to Cliff's store and arrested him uh, he he told him that he was going to jail and put him in the car and took him down so the story is and I don't have first hand evidence of this but from what I understand is that when he got down to the sheriff's station uh, he spilled the beans uh, he let it all out everything that has gone on why who you name it so what has been going on is Cliff was actually in a really bad spot with his feed store over there he he was in a lot of debt and the bank was threatening to uh, take it from him and uh, that's that's all he's got I mean that's his livelihood and so he was doing everything he could 
to try and save that feed store. Well, trying to save it, he got involved with a fellow over there that owns Elk Mountain Ranch. Now, my dealings with both of these guys have been great. I mean, they, they've been nice, giving me work. I had no issues with them until I found out that I got hit in the head by one of them. Well, so the fellow out there at Oak Mountain Ranch, if you remember, has a little moonshine business. Well, he's, he's about paid off everybody in town to keep it quiet. But I guess the sheriff had not picked up on that yet. So Cliff spilled the beans about that. Well, then the sheriff went out and arrested that fella. So, they're both up there in the jailhouse, both singing like songbirds. But Cliff, yeah, he, he was he was in cahoots with the fella up there at Elk Mountain Ranch. And uh, he when he found out I was going up there to look around, well, he snuck up there ahead of me and... Uh, tried to scare me off. Uh, they were trying to protect the steel up there. They didn't want anybody to see it, know where it was. And so that's what happened. Uh, he was getting paid by the fella out at Elk Mountain Ranch. And I found out why the guy out there at Elk Mountain Ranch contracts out all of his work. So I guess Cliff had an arrangement with him to Find cheap labor to do this work and uh, in return he kind of had a monopoly on the the contract in the area so those two guys were kind of in it together uh, they were kind of running the area uh, you know I, well I don't want to say I can't blame them but they were just trying to make their way I guess um, it just didn't work out so as it happens, Cliff and the fellow out there at Elk Mountain Ranch are both still in jail. And I guess they're going to be charged with some criminal activities. And now I kind of know what's been going on. What has caused a lot of this stuff to happen. And who did it? So there you have it. There's the... The mystery has been solved. So, anyway, they're in, they're in jail, and uh, so they've got the the driveway over there at Cliff's feed store blocked off, uh, just to keep people from coming in and out. So, that kind of presents a little bit of a dilemma here. I mean, Cliff paid really good. Uh, he, he was one of the best prices in town on a lot of things, so can't sell my goods there anymore, at least not for the time being. I also can't buy any seeds or fertilizer. Can't use his equipment. And there's not going to be any contracts available. As long as he is behind bars. So, things could get a little interesting around here now with that situation. So, we're moving on. Uh, Gage kind of felt bad because he had mentioned that to me about cliff and so uh he he said he needed a a day just to collect his thoughts and everything so i understand i mean that's that's a lot going on for him and uh that whole family so uh, he's he's not over here helping me today i didn't really need him to uh we're just doing some seating here so it's working out pretty good uh, i hadn't done much else today uh there's been so much activity going on with the police and arrests and questioning and all of that so uh this is this is it for today this is all we've got done i was just trying to get this field seated here so we're working on it uh it's actually going around really quickly i'm quite surprised at how quickly this is actually getting this field done so that is a very very good thing i uh, will need to pull over here in just a moment and uh check the hoppers there on the on the cedar and see what they have left in them. I may have to run back up to the shop 
and grab a bag or two of seed or fertilizer, or maybe up to tractor supply. They sell it to this. This cedar was kind of expensive. It was uh, right at seventy thousand dollars, so kind of took a hit on the uh, bank account, and uh, only have a few thousand left. We'll have to pay most of that to Gage uh, when I see him tomorrow. But we'll go ahead and hopefully tomorrow be able to get into harvesting that other field and then just as soon as we get that taken care of I think he's going to help me with the harvesting and we'll go right into bailing just as soon as we can get that done so a uh, busy day tomorrow really busy day uh, but it's good to have a uh, gauge on board he's looks like he's going to be willing to help out around the farm here quite a bit so that'll be a, a great thing help me get all of this uh, harvest in a little bit quicker so let me make uh, this last little pass here around I'm gonna stop the tractor hop out and see what we got left in the hoppers and we'll continue on and get this field done and uh, we'll see you in the morning hopefully we'll be harvesting some wheat Well, you know, there's always something going on around the farm that's costing me money. We're in the first part of June here. The wheat is ready in this field. So you see, we've gone around it. Already done a lap around the field and started down on the other end. Notice there's some bales already out in the field. Well, let me tell you what's happened. Got out here early. Got to it, things were going real smooth. And then things come to a screeching halt in the combine. Well, we've been looking at it, and we think one of the pulleys, or gears up there in uh, in the combine, has a bearing that has seized up. So we have called down to the shop. See if they got the part. So they are checking on that, and uh, if so, they're going to send a service tech down this way. Uh, so I went ahead and had gauge running around the field he's gone ahead and uh, bailed up what he could just trying to stay busy and I just got the uh, rest of the grain out of the combine I figured we'd go ahead and get that out of there uh, the auger's still working so we were able to uh, go ahead and get that out of the tank just to get all of the weight and uh, extra material out of there while we're making the repairs and uh, that way we don't contaminate anything with any grease or oil or anything else uh, that could affect the uh, grain so got that cleaned out you see I got the cart here the little Mahindra actually pulls this grain wagon pretty good uh, pleased with that so that works out really well so basically we're dead in the water now uh, we do need to put some herbicide out on the sorghum that I planted yesterday now I don't think I mentioned that, but I did go with sorghum. And that's not a crop that's normally grown around here too much uh, from what I've gathered, but I was able to find seed for it. We're going to give it a shot. It has a pretty short growing season, so I think we have time to get it to get it in before the uh the temperatures drop too much so yeah the uh, combine is out of service that figures but the uh, little seed drill I got actually worked out really well yesterday so I ended up able to get through that whole field without having to refill seed or fertilizer so that was fantastic uh, so I was able to just rock on through that and and get it done so thought today was going to go a little smoother but it has turned into a little bit of a fiasco so i think what we're going to do uh we gotta wait for the uh, guy to get down here from the shop and then we've got to repair this thing it is that pulley right well that drive gear right there right in the middle it ain't turning it is locked up so Gonna have to uh, change the bearing out on that. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> gonna be fun. But that's part of it. This machinery gets worked hard. 
there's going to be things break. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hop in, I think, the Mahindra. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to disconnect it from the, the grain wagon. All right, and uh, what I'll do is go ahead and run down here to the house and uh, hook up to the sprayer. Now, I don't know that I have any herbicide or fertilizer here down at the... Oh, I do have liquid fertilizer. We do have that. And you see, we've already uh, switched the greenhouse back over to tomatoes here in the warmer months. Figured that would work out a little better. I have a chain there just laying right out in the middle. So what we'll do is we'll hook up to this sprayer and then what I'll do is head on over there. I think I may let Gage work on the spraying for me. Uh, he wants to earn some money so we'll just keep him busy here today and that'll give me time to help the uh, service tech work on the combine. And then once we get that done, um, I may be having to go take some grain off to pay for all these parts and repairs. So. Uh, hopefully I won't come to that. I may call the bank, see how much I have left in the, in the account there to see what we can maybe borrow. Because I'm sure it's going to be a pretty penny getting this thing repaired. So I'm going to go ahead and get this tank filled up here with some uh, fertilizer. I have some right here. We'll get it full and then I'll take it out to the field. And we'll let Gage do a little fertilizing. <laughs> it just goes from bad to worse. Oh my goodness, the combine's still down. We're still waiting on the part. Still waiting on the service tech. And then it starts raining. It is coming down cats and dogs. Everything's getting wet. The straw that we just bailed up is getting wet. The wheat's getting wet. We're going to have to wait for it to dry off before we can harvest anymore. Oh, my goodness. You know, just a couple days ago, I thought things were going to be, be turning around for me. Have a change of luck. Thought things may go my way. And then here we are. Well, I guess I should get used to it. Uh, this just has not been easy up here in Oak Mountain. Every time I turn around, there's another curveball thrown my way. But we do have some good help around the farm now. Uh, Gage has been a great farm hand to have helping out. You see, I got the uh, liquid fertilizer and I went ahead and went down to the shop and bought a container of herbicide because as soon as we get done throwing this fertilizer out, which this rain's actually pretty nice, that'll help uh, get it work it into the soil uh, once the rain stops we'll go ahead and spray the herbicide and then we'll let that field dry out and then just as soon as we get that combine repaired we'll go ahead and get back at it guys i thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did please be sure to click that thumbs up button on the video and if you are new to my channel or just haven't subscribed yet I'd appreciate if you consider go ahead and click that subscribe button that'd uh, be greatly appreciated again I do thank you for watching and I hope each of you have a blessed day